Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wookie, and I'm here with my brother, Nux. Hello. And we're here with Lee. Master. It's too soon for an honorable retreat, Master. We're here just to look at Lee's lines. Yes, well, this is the Lee Showcase. Exactly, Lee Showcase. That's a lie, it's not the Lee Showcase. We're here to play through some Samosa. That's right, everyone. Shimosha. The what? Isn't it Shemosha? I'm pretty sure it's Samosa. The H is silent in English. Samosa, the stage of carnage, the pseudo singularity. I've never played it, you never played it, so we're basically going to read through it. I refuse to play it. Yeah, because a certain fuckboy is in it, and I just swore, so this is going to be demonetized. Oh, it's a hawk cries out somewhere in the distance. <laughs> <laughs> just one hawk. Just one hawk in the air, the only hawk. In Mount Kenobi's. What? <laughs> Ring <laughs> Kenobu. In, in General Kenobu's Reginaldo, an old man awaits the final moments of his life. His name, Shin Man Musashi okay, Dokami well. Fujiwara no Haradobu, which is to say I'm speaking of myself. That old man was me. Oh, damn. You might be wondering how I got into this situation. <laughs> Freeze frame. <laughs> Close up to the hawk. <laughs> yes, I am Shinman Musashi, one whose blades has spilled the blood of countless others. Whoa. Perhaps I was once called Miyamoto Musashi at some point, but that doesn't matter now. I'm dying. <laughs> How can I help you? Damn. Welcome to Applebee's. <laughs> How can I take your order? This was one hell of a waitress, I guess. Old man? No, not yet. I refuse to sleep just yet. Go to bed, old man. This is, this is, uh, that's Cookie every time I enter the garage. She's not, she's awake. Mm. Come on now. Eyes open, eyes open up. Yes, that's it. I may as well end up dying today or tomorrow, but it won't be right this instance. Patience. After all, my visitors have yet to arrive. Hmm, now where was I? Oh yes, my blades. My buster blader, right here, ready for command. Damn. We're gonna duel? Yes, I killed a lot, quite a few people with them. Blades. They are tools for killing, for cutting and slashing human bodies. They once referred to Tachi and Katana, now they refer to Katana and Wakazashi? There's a lot of Japanese words here. Blades are carried by soldiers, by warriors, by... Ah! So how happened? are you talking so much, you fucking old man? Carried by warriors, by Bushi... They can only be called samurai, a variation of the word saboru, meaning to serve as they serve their masters. In any case, those who command these warriors are known as generals. Is this old man just telling me about Japan? For a dying old man, he sure talks a lot. Uh, this, this, is, this is what's going to be like me on my deathbed. I'm going to teach people about the samurai. <laughs> a general is like nothing so much as a master carpenter. He, is he Jesus? As he, he must know. Old, no, he's Miyamoto Musashi. But he's saying the carpenters are like samurais. Does that mean Jesus was a samurai? Yeah. The greatest samurai known to man? He was the savior. The savior of Japan? Yeah. He must know He must know how to make use of every tool at his disposal to carry out his master's wishes. Even now, I can hear a young Iori telling me he doesn't understand what I mean. Perhaps Makinoju would have that smug, knowing expression about now. Yes, I imagine he would. Fuck Maganoju. Yeah. Hate his ass. Me. I'm hope I'm tight as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Me. I'm tight as fuck. <laughs> I'm Miyamoto Musashi, and I'm tight <laughs> as fuck. <laughs> Uh, me, I'm hopeless. I didn't understand anything back when I was young. I just traveled the world, cutting down any who challenged me. Hmm. Like that hawk earlier. I could never have hoped to be a general. I would have ended up as a minor commander bound for some tiny domain. How foolish. Yes, foolish. What point is there in being good with a blade? It's good for nothing but killing and maiming others. Perhaps my life might have been more worthwhile had I been a painter. Hmm. This guy's regretting his life. He's like, "What? I should have. I should have been an arts major. I should have never majored in samurai." Yeah. No doubt, Takada Matabi would laugh if he heard that. He would say, I'm spouting nonsense in my old age. Yes, you're right, Matabe. I am old. It is far too late for me to allow myself to wallow in regret now. As I would say something like that. <laughs> I guess it wasn't him saying it. 
there's nothing wrong with being a bit foolish. I lived in a chaotic age where the screams of agony were common as bird song. What? What's a bird song? Like, like surfing bird? I don't know. <laughs> Blackbird? Blackbird singing in the dead of night. I That's mean, about as far as I, I can say before it gets... what a bird song is. A common bird song. You gotta go look up some birds. I have no regrets. I've spent my life uh, hole cutting, slashing, slashing. Oh, the bird man. The rapper. <laughs> Everyone look up bird song and look at this picture of this bird fucking wallowing out. <laughs> Fuck, I'm gonna have to edit that in now. That's too we'll good. You have to send it to put it on the put it on our Twitter. Send it to Puppy. <laughs> I have no regrets. I spent my whole life cutting, slashing, slaughtering. Come then, fate slash grand order. Show me what my final moments hold. Spirits in heaven, forgive me for such fruitless dreams. Treat them as more than ramblings of an old man on death's door and pay them no heed. Still, I have precious little time left. My eyes may close forever, even before the fateful moment arrives. <laughs> Hack. <laughs> well, this is troubling. I seem to be dying. <laughs> well, <laughs> how truly vexing. Gods, Buddha, hear my prayer. At this point, I'll even have to take an oni or a demon. It's Kill weird. me, please. Please, give me more time. Oh. So that I, please, ma'am, can I have some destiny? I don't think I'll be able to hold him to the bowels of hell. This is one weird old man. The hawk is gone! No! <laughs> no! Where is the... Quickly put up the picture of the bird. Oh! <laughs> it is impossible, then. Uh, if only the world were itself... Uh, if only this world were itself a living hell. What is that supposed to be? I think he's trying to say that he wants to end it all. No, but he said he wants more time. I guess which one is it? Oh, it's Mash. <laughs> okay, you can be Mash. Mash is the old man. <laughs> uh, Mash was the old man all along. Oh. Mash your old man to Naito. Senpai. Speaking of the devil, I am the devil. <laughs> <laughs> Giant fire all over. I was just heading Senpai. to your room to look for you. As the devil does. We finally, I finally found something I've been trying to find for some time. Oh, what's that? What were you so keen to find, Mash? I'm a talkie. I'm a talkie man. Oh, I wasn't looking for it, for it, for my sake. If anything, it was more to do with you, Senpai. Let me start at the beginning. I'm an old man dying in a cave. <laughs> okay, listen. There was this old man. There was a big hawk. He said, "Ah!" The bird song. Bird song. Oh, oh shit. Let me start at the beginning. There you go. Let's see, Senpai. You once said that you met Miyamoto Musashi, the famous sword man. Master. Sword master. During a dreamlike experience, right? Uh, yep, I sure did. I did that all. Me, Senpai. Well, this concerns her too. Unlike the historical Miyamoto. <laughs> Miyamoto Musashi, this one you encountered was a woman. Perhaps from a world of pruning theor theoretical theoretical phenomenon. There you go. She may have been one who travels... Oh, Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> <laughs> who travels between worlds. Who travels between worlds via some special means. Or even living human rather than a her heroic spirit. Whatever the case, that was the Musashi you met. I found this very intriguing. She's in a cowboy outfit. <laughs> she seems to be calling herself American and blasting. <laughs> and I start blasting. <laughs> blah, blah. I had nothing to go on, but... <laughs> I have nothing to go on. Leave me, senpai. <laughs> but what you told me had the circumstantial and evidence. She's, what, is she fucking Phoenix writing this? Yeah. Whoa, and there was one more thing. Something that kept nagging at me personally. Why are you dreaming about women? <laughs> Why are you dreaming about women, Senpai? If Miyamoto Musashi has been split into two different people, one male, one female, there may be a reason for that. Uh-huh. Of course, there are a fair number of heroic spirits with numerous what-if spirit origins registered here at Caldea? 
Uh, yeah, apparently, uh, if you don't know this, it's not Chaldea, it's Caldea. Caldea alone. That's crazy. Maybe that's the case with Musashi as well. Or maybe she's something completely different. Either way, I had to find out. So you're looking... Uh, so you were... Uh, did, uh, what am I going to say? Yeah. And did you find something I mean? Yes. And I couldn't done it without the whole staff's help. And then a giant The Smash Brothers staff screen shows up. as <laughs> All the people <laughs> that da, 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 da. <laughs> Oh, it's no big deal. There's all sorts of always accessible text on portable data always saved to the standard library. I'm Caldea staff. Unfortunately, image data of authentic original text isn't easy to find. But luckily, we recently happened across some that was um, saved to the standalone underground library. I think my heart skipped a beat when it turned up, though, after all. It said to not look, <laughs> it said to not look at it in the readme file. <laughs> I didn't pay attention to that at all. I read it. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. What am I saying? Oh, no. You skipped everything. Still, I scanned it for viruses and it came up clean. So it... <laughs> so I clicked and it told me I, there was local Asians in my area. And I was like, that's not possible. I'm in the snow. <laughs> That's not possible. This is Antarctica. This is Antarctica. They ain't no Asians in Antarctica. I checked. I, I checked the local guide before coming. I checked everything. I checked MASH. Nope. No. I think she's technically English or whatever. An incubus baby. Came up clean, so it should be all right. Probably just someone's idea of a practical joke. Anyway, I hope this image takes uh, taken with the original manuscript of the Book of the Five Rings helps you two out later. And I'm gone. Thank you so much, Caldea staff. Thank you. I'm going to go back to doing my Caldea stuff. Look at me. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him go. <laughs> this is the book Musashi, right? Oh, but isn't that... Oh, wait, what is <clears throat> Yes, this is the book that the Miyamoto Musashi, who left his mark on our history, wrote. The female Musashi that you met had nothing to do with it. Damn, fucking that that side. She being like she got she didn't do fucking shit. Listen, let me tell you about the female Musashi. <laughs> <laughs> let me tell you what y'all know about her. For one thing, she had to materialize as a servant, right? I think she was flesh and blood human. No, but she was just as strong as any servant. I think she was a flesh and blood human. Moving between worlds while still alive. Alternative histories, but with that, with the exact same name. A different version of the exact same person. I, I don't believe it. Don't you agree, Arthur and Arthur? Don't you agree, Arthur, 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 uh, Arthur, 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 can you wait for a little while? There's something I want to, tr to try. I like where this is going. If the Musashi you met was different from our histories, Miyamoto Musashi, but she also had the same name and fought with two swords. Which swordsman would she be? Lloyd Irving from Tales of Symphonia is actually... Whoa, okay. Uh, damn it, Mash, you talk too fast. Then we <clears throat> may be able to find something else they have in common. Or maybe even some way in which... <coughs> <laughs> I'm dying. <laughs> They're Separate. entirely different. Mash's manuscript. I'm sorry, I'm still the old man. <laughs> the old man in the cave is back. I know I'm grasping straws, so I can't afford anything more definitive right now, but... Uh, it's okay, I'll help you. Maybe we'll learn something by surprising her about it. That sounds good. Thank you, senpai. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> so you were discussing the Book of Five Rings, were you? I really must say, I might just be a... Uh, be a uh, it, it might just be a touch difficult to decipher it and find a proper expert. Ah! <laughs> speak of the devil <laughs> it's speak of the devil oh no I may call myself Sasuke Kojiro but who's to say if that is indeed truly who I am maybe I'm the devil do you want to check out my sweet smoke screen behind me no I'm merely a stick waving samurai who stumbled onto this name Damn. 
I have certainly heard the name Miyamoto Musashi, but I've never met him. Indeed, I have no connection to him whatsoever, for good or ill. Nonetheless, now that I go by Kojiro, I cannot ignore the mark that a Shinmin Musashi has made upon the world. Knowledge of the Book of the Five Rings was bestowed upon me when I was summoned as a servant, whether I wished it or whether I wished it so or not. As such, I know it's quite well, though I cannot say how comprehensible its contents will be to you, Lady Wookie. Damn, you're a lady. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a female in this. <laughs> Everything up to the Book of the Earth and the Book of the Water can be interpreted easily enough, but beyond that, it's merely a book of riddles than a manual. Its final chapter, the Book of Void, is nothing more than a scrap that lays Musashi's feelings bare. He really goes into, like, this bird he saw in the air, and it's really weird. It's really weird. It's really weird. I'm gonna be honest, it's not my favorite book. You're talking I... about some bird song, and there's just a big yellow bird screaming. Exactly. Personally, I prefer Are You My Mother. It's a fantastic book, <laughs> tells me. Um, Nor are they described in tangible material manners. Void discusses what lies beyond, the karmic laws one's eyes can't see. The concept of zero, which at the time was at the very bleeding edge of Buddhist studies. Indeed, it reads more like the philosophical treaties created to help the reader accept the new way of thinking. That the fact that uh, fate zero was the only good fate was very hard for the Buddhists to come up with. The Buddhists could not believe their visual novel about this boy was good. Yeah, they're like, how can this be better than the original? This is dumb. It's not like our original talked all about how the being the original is not the best. Excuse me? Listen, Mesh, fate, the fate. visual novel's good? <laughs> I was in that visual novel. I could tell you myself, it was bad. I'm afraid I completely forgot. Everyone forgot about Fate's Day Night. <laughs> what happened? Sasuke Kojoru. I like you. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm getting away. Uh, I didn't mean it, uh, to shout in your face like that. You know, I'm just really, uh, I just really like Fate Zero. It's been a long day. <laughs> it's been a long day. Please. I feel like I've been talking to Senpai for the past uh, 17 minutes. Hey, but I just remembered that you showed up in the story about the famous duel on Ganryu Island. Yeah, that's correct. Of course, some say the story just invented some years later, and you're also rather unique when it comes to heroic spirits. For, for instance, you're a one star. <laughs> How is that possible? But... That's exactly why I should have thought to ask you about it first. And yet, for some reason, it never occurred to me until now. Kind of dumb, Mash. Is that an option? Huh? Go? <laughs> That's Nothing. odd. It felt like my head was swimming in some kind of haze or something. That's my smoke. <laughs> Mind my smoke. Please calm yourself, Lady Mash. Take a few deep breaths. <laughs> Make sure you get enough oxygen. Now get ready, as I'm going to put you in the stomach. <laughs> now may I ask what you mean to do with the Book of the Five Rings? Do you mean to summon Musashi to Chaldea? Chaldea as well? No, not exactly. Though I'd like to see her again if I could. Sure, I'll go with that. Of course you would. <laughs> yes, I would. Perhaps in a swimsuit. Oh, so you met a Munada Musashi, but not the historical Miyamaru Musashi of our world. Rather, she is a woman with thin arms who wields two katana, claims to be Musashi, and aspires to perfect her swordsmanship. Hmm. Noodle arms. Damn. Damn. She needs, she's not swole at all, is what uh, Kojiro over here is saying. Fascinating. She sounds very much like me, and yet entirely different. She has gigantic breasts to begin with. I may be Sasaki Kojiro, but inside I am merely a single manifestation of one of the many legends surrounding him. Hmm. I am but the shadow of the moon, as reflected in a pool of water. <clears throat> But you say this mysterious Musashi you met is apparently THE Musashi rather than one of his manifestations? In which case, did this female Musashi ever tell you this? Kojiro, you have lost. According to other swordsmen, that's what Musashi said to Kojiro after the later had cast aside his scabbard of his own accord while awaiting Musashi on Ganru Island. There are numerous interpretations of their duel, but there are no lines more famous than this. As such, those words were proved that this Musashi was indeed who she claims. Perhaps she, you even came to believe she was Musashi because she had heard, heard her speak that line, Lady Woki. No, she never said anything like that. She's still Musashi whether she said that or not. No, she never said anything like that. Damn. 
Oh, 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 that complicates matters. Then I believe this female Musashi has not yet reached the void. Which may then make you the final piece of the puzzle, Lady Wogi. Musashi was my most ephemeral, ephemeral wheeler to Katanas for whom Sasuke Kujiro had waited since time immemorial. There have been many great swordsmen in Japan's history, but despite being flashy and controversial, none as well known as beloved as him. Damn. Damn. He was a brilliant martial artist who nary lost to his name, Shin Man. Wow. Whoa. Musashi no Kami. Fujiwaru no. Harunobu. <laughs> nobu, nobu, nobu. Oh, everything's burning. That does sound like me. <laughs> hmm. But I never dreamed I'd have luxury of somebody overseeing me. It, it all, all to the end. end. I never thought those things would turn out like this. How could this happen to me? Everything. I'm burning alive. Um, oh god, it hurts! Senpai? I'm sorry, life goes on. <laughs> you look pale. No more than pale. You look ghostly white. Jesus Christ, why are you so white? <laughs> Senpai's so white that when Wait. she goes out to the sun, she bakes. <laughs> <laughs> this has happened before. I remember when... Oh, oh shit. She's dead. <laughs> What's wrong, Senpai? What's wrong, Senpai? Senpai? Devil. <laughs> senpai, Senpai, please wake up, Senpai. Wake up! Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Oh, what? Kind of lost all his commotion. It's early. What's wrong, Bash? You seem awfully worked up. Why are your pills and uni? I see Master's collapsed in a heap. She's out cold, isn't she? But don't worry, she's still got a pulse. Check her pulse! Check, Check her, her pulse, pulse Yugi! <laughs> We're neither too late nor too early. We're just on time. I shall go and fetch Lady Martha, Lady Bash. Remain calm. Lady Doji, keep an eye on things. You can't trust Doji to keep I think it. I can do a pretty good job of keeping an eye on this defenseless girl. Let's get it. Well, it's not like she's dying or anything. It's not like I'm a man-eating oat. I'm gonna Only. just have a quick nip. She's like a cat. The second it looks like she's dead, she's already eating the corpse. Yeah, basically. Although it does feel like there's some kind of magical energy here. Mm, never mind. Guess it's just my imagination. Hey, Wokey, wake up. Oh, I was right. <laughs> I'll start nibbling you over the head down. Stop, stop, stop. Senpai. Senpai, please. She's already stop, starting. Stop, stop, Can you hear me? Stop, 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 stop. It's good, oh, Senpai. God, she's dead. There you have it. Oh, wait. Miss Wilkie has fallen into a deep coma. She was thoroughly examined, but nothing was found to be amiss. If anything, she appears to be the picture of health. It does look like someone's been gnawing, nibbling at her arm, though. Why is her head <laughs> half bloody and everything else is fine? I don't know. <laughs> it's a mystery how anything happens in this world. Yet, she will not wake up. Not even the healing focused casters in Caldea. Caldea? Caldea. Working together okay. are open to open her eyes. And who's are that? Are open to open her eyes. Are, are able. Are able to open her eyes. And who's that? Freaking. Who do you have in your Kaidala who's a healer? Uh. I got nursery rhyme. Does she heal? No. no she's a caster. No, I got fucking uh, Medea. Which one? Both. Okay. I got kid Medea and adult Medea. Okay, so then Kid Medea's. She's like going. And according to Mash, this is not the first time Master has succumbed to a coma. So, such a coma. Come when on. this happened before, I believe the cause lay with. Come on. The mm. Count of Monte Cristo. The... Oh, my apologies. Ultimately, the King of Mages was responsible for that, of course. Ah! Uh, my leg fell asleep. Damn. <laughs> Be careful. Oh. Oh, shit. God damn it. Who is this talking? Oh. Though you were certainly comp complicit. complicit, you were not the sole cause of the problem, nor are you sort of the man to repeat the same crime twice. I bet you this is wrong. Nonetheless, I couldn't help but suspect that you might know a thing or two about this. Well, maybe it's Sherlock. Silence! Why would it be Sherlock? Keep prattling on, and I will burn you to ash from the inside out. That's my French accent. <laughs> Do not speak to me. I have no interest whatsoever. You have to say. Keep your mouth shut, Holmes. Oh, never mind. It is me. Quite a shame. 
it is me, Sherlock the Holmes. Sherlock Honeycomb's here. <laughs> Sherlock Honeycomb's here. That is that I thought we might find common ground as gentlemen who shared the fondness for tobacco. You, you want to have a little bit of the waggy tobacco? You want to have some meth? <laughs> Got any meth on you, the Count of Monte Cristo? Hmm. Ding. Very well. Then I shall refrain from further conversation. I was merely hoping you might be able to help contain this situation. Hmm. Hmm. But I shall respect your wishes and do without your cooperation, Miss Piggy. <laughs> With this Miss Piggy? <laughs> oh. oh, so you want the opium again? Yeah, probably. <laughs> However, as this matter considers Caldy as sole master, is of utmost importance. As such, I shall be continuing my investigation. Do what you will. It's no concern of mine. Hmm. Now goodbye. Holmes, I will see you at 3 o'clock for the reputable get a hopium. And there we go. I should have him helping out in earnest. Such a shame that it's... Uh that things have come to us, but now that they have, everything depends upon all of us doing our best. Hmm. <laughs> the eyebrow raised. And of course, upon Miss Wilkie's own battle, oh, she's oh. dead. <laughs> well, better start eating her then. Better <laughs> make sure it's shooting her. Pseudo singularity, too. Ah! Oh. Human foundation value undetermined. The stage of carnage. Samosa. Seven duels of swordsmen. Seven duels of swordsmen, huh? Seven duels of the bandit. Be nice. <laughs> Jesus, this is a big... It is. So we're going to say, join us next time as we continue this on before this hits 30 minutes long. <laughs> this is one big paralogue. It is. This is just the opening, too. We haven't even gotten into the action. Nope. See us next time.